Hey everyone, welcome back to Be Changing Tarot. I'm here to do my Vampire Lovers reading, and if you like your own personal private reading, you can click the link below. Um, be taken to my Etsy shop. I did one of these around the holiday of Halloween, and I just want to catch it. I will try to remember to put the link to it below as well. In this reading, I always open with the Love and Tragedy, and I always use the Tarot de la Nute deck and I read from the booklet so if you order your own personal private one know that I will be incorporating the booklet this is the only reading that I use a booklet to read to do the reading just know that I don't read but this adds a spirit loves this word nuance this adds a nuance <laughs> I don't know where that word came from um another nuance of energy level of energy to the reading that otherwise wouldn't be here if I didn't have this deck in this booklet because the booklet is so different and unique so I'm focusing on the reading and the energies of everyone. This is vampire energy, but we are not tapping into dark energies. This is for fun and entertainment purposes only. Uh, it's meant to be fun and lighthearted, not dark and scary. So that being said, we are always protected by Archangel Michael, and we're focusing on the energy of this particular spread for vampire lovers. We have faith, which is interesting. It's just the same card that came up in my last one but I'm going to read it and it says you are being called to have hold faith within your soul right now move forward knowing that sometimes we have to take a leap even if we cannot see the outcome sometimes our soul calls us to move simply to teach us that we can to be driven and guided by inner faith that regardless of the outcome there is something to learn through the experience So it's to have faith, but that you may need to be, your soul may call you to move, to do something that, you know, you're not sure what, what is, why you're being guided to do something. This person may be feeling that. They're not quite sure. They're following soul guidance, but uncertain with where it's leading them. So it's like that blind faith energy coming up in regards to this right now. So the fang number one, how your partner sees you, and I'm going to shuffle for each one, and then one sticks out that I feel is it, and I, I do, I see it right here, how your partner sees you is nine of pentacles. So they see you as somebody that is very, perhaps financially independent, first of all, they're seeing you as somebody that is, um, you know, very independent is the word, this is somebody that, oh, you know, kind of relies on themselves, doesn't really need uh you know they're not see you're not seeking outside of yourself for uh value let's put it that way not just financial but you're not looking towards anyone to validate you whether or you know or take care of you or you know um put value on you so that's how they're seeing you very independent and not needy as let's put it that way you're not a needy person um energetically and very beautiful as well because of how she's dressed but i'm going to read from the booklet nine of pentacles and this can be good or bad depending on what that person's looking for if they're looking for somebody that is not <laughs> independent so this would not be the greatest but most people are like that it's very confident energy it's very self-assured energy um, and you're not a needy, codependent type of person. It says, a lady that rewards. I've worked hard and now I feel I own the world. Beauty, fame, luxury, wealth, they're all in my life. I do deserve the comfort that is mine now. And so that is important too. It says, I do deserve the comfort that is mine now. So you know you're deserving of good things as well because you know that you're a good person and you deserve good things. So you know you deserve what is yours and you know you deserve the comfort. The road has been long and it has kept me very busy during spring and summer. That is interesting. The load, the road has been long and it has kept me very busy during spring and summer. So there could be timing there. I don't know why it says it that way because it excludes fall and winter. But now the winter is here. Okay, so they're saying winter. Now that the winter is here also are my, but now that winter is here also are my rewards. Be glad be glad to meet me for I announce a time of good harvest and welcome rest. Prepare yourself for cheers and celebration. Maybe you shall have some final efforts to make, but that shouldn't worry you. Like me, you have your magical wand in your hand and you know how to use it. You're at the right time at the right place. Reward after work, good harvest, reaching completion, refinement. So they're seeing you as somebody that's refined. They're seeing you as somebody that has a good life, that is self-assured, that is self-confident, um, stands in your own power, is not a needy person. It says, 
like me, you have your magical wand in your hand and you know how to use it. So they're seeing something similar in you to them because it says like me. So it would be like them saying, okay, this person has a magical wand in their hand like me and they know how to use it. So you know how to direct energy. They're seeing you as somebody that they, that can, as a good manifester um, and can direct magical energy too. Very nice. So how does your partner, this is fan number two, how your partner steals for you? Do they have a heart? I'm hearing don't start something you can't finish. The words popped in your head. Don't start something you can't finish. they feel for you so empress is you know like a divine partner pretty much it is somebody that is like mother material wife material uh divine you know a counterpart like somebody that is like there's only one empress right there's not you know this isn't a queen so they're not just like one thing you're you're all the queens so it's like that embodiment of the one right so yeah they have you know good feelings for you they are um you know attracted to you you're attracted again it's going along with that nine of pentacles feel of the empress of fertility of growth uh, somebody that they can grow with expand in life with move through life with very nicely so it says dreaming of an everlasting garden i am here to tell you that abundance is around you you must deeply connect to your feminine energy and give birth to all your potentials i am the guardian of your inner garden so that you may feel free to express yourself so it's interesting this is how they feel for you so they feel they are the garden guardian of your inner garden so that you may free be able, feel free to express yourself. So they're like they feel like they're they they are like a guardian for you to like a a safe place for you to feel free to express yourself is how they feel. Uh, they want to be that for you. They want to be that sa that safe space. They want to be that safe space for you to, uh, this is interesting. They want to be that safe space for you to express yourself. The night is young and the world is rich, full of flowers that wish to blossom. You are one of those flowers. So they're seeing you as one of those flowers. The night is young and the world is rich, full of flowers that wish to blossom. You are one of those flowers. You've been growing ideas for a while and now it is time to bring forth those projects. Connect with the beauty of nature. Be part of it truly. In your heart, listen to that Mother Nature has to say to you. I also encourage you to play a caring, nurturing, loving role for those around you. Feel and create abundance just like I am myself serenely do. Feel and create abundance. So they see you as, they feel for you as somebody that is able to create a lot of abundance. Like the Nine of Pentacles, these are definitely going along. But um, birth, fertility, nature, motherhood. So just very um naturally connected to you as well but it's like they want to create a space for you to feel free to be yourself as well so all good there drops of blood you and your partner as a couple blend of your energies so this is where you blend who you are together It may be like an energy where you're meeting, like a meeting of the minds energetically or, you know, how you both are together. Ten of Cups, which, you know, it goes right along with this is it's all like positive stuff. Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment. It is happiness.
So together you are the clearing of happiness. Night has been nourishing mother for me. Night has been a nourishing mother for me. I live now in the sweetest of clearings, a place where all is gentle and bright. Flowers are blossoming, hearts are rejoicing around me. I'm so glad that your steps led you here. Meeting me in, is the sign that your dreams are about to come true. Your life is full of blessings as is mine. Gather your loved ones around you. Enjoy some happy times together. Love is also in the air and will be for will be a long lasting one. Now you can follow your heart and grab any opportunity that life is bringing you. Be sure that the road will be clear and delightful. Joy, contentment, happiness, harmony, good fortune, love, family, and life. So together, you know, there is, you clear the way for happiness. You know, you're, um, it says meeting me is a sign that your dreams are about to come true. So together your dreams can come true. Together your lives are full of blessings. Um, your life is full of happy times and it's a long lasting one. So it's a long lasting together. There's a long lasting happiness, energy feeling, and there's a long lasting um, capability. So if it's not in that right now, there is, this is both of your energetic makeups together can create this. So that's positive. Garlic, are there outside energies affecting your relationship? And my battery just said low battery. <laughs> that may be a sign. Low energy, low something. Power, not enough. Power, not enough. Momentum or something could be part of the, what needs to be the garlic. Outside energy is affecting your relationship. Something draining, perhaps. Something draining resources, because um, batteries drain, batteries low. Something that gets drained. Outside energy is affecting this connection. Ooh, I felt that one. It did. It did. Wonky dance. Five of swords. Now there is a woman on this card holding a knife, so there could actually be a woman that's in, but it doesn't necessarily mean that. Um, Five of Swords, which I opened right to it. And ready to stab. You are not going to like me, for I bring a world of conflict, hostility, and aggressiveness. I betrayed many people, and I had to, unless I couldn't have reached my goals. I have, I choose ambition over kindness. Now I'm alone and untrusted, but I'm okay with that. Don't blame me. You hide the same kind of ice pick behind you. And that's a good thing because you'll soon have to use it. For you, the struggle is not over yet. Enemies are around you and even ones that are former friends. The rule is you often have to stab someone's back to win and you can't but expect to be stabbed back at times. If you can't accept that rule, get out of my castle. Hmm, get out of my castle. That is interesting to me. Okay, words. Hostility, dark ambition, betrayal, conflict, cheating. So these are all the things to, you know, garlic to be defended against. It could be... Uh, people that are former friends, um, that are, you know, around or causing problems, any hostility, dark ambitions, any betrayal, any conflicts, cheating, that kind of thing. Uh, that is what needs to be guarded against. Stake. The next one is stake to the heart the next major event to occur in this relationship. also pull from the love and tragedy to see because three of swords is like not a good energy but we're going to see in what way new beginning so this is like a, I feel like I'm hearing the word oxymoron so I was hearing it before I pulled the new beginning so I'm going to read the three of swords
lack of the lady of sorrow but i heard i read it the lack of sorrow but it says the lady of sorrow so my heart is a wound my cry tears of blood i've lost what i love so much hope joy daylight are gone forever i live in the heartbreak sanctuary that's where all heart broken hearts come so broken your heart must be if you see me today i know your pain i feel your tears you're you've lost what you cherished and life seems meaningless but for you there is a way out of this place first cry and feel the sorrow to the deepest but then my dear leave this pain behind learn from it the suffering can help you grow stronger focus on your recovery rather than your loss this is the only way to move on and be able to smile again pain loss wounded heart but also growth and recovering so you're going to recover from broken heart you're going to recover there's going to be a heart chakra healing so this you know doesn't mean that there's you know you're going to experience this you're going to recover from it. So anything that is causing emotional pain and separation, maybe it had to do with, um, you know, these feel related. So there could be somebody from your past that it was like this, that created this energy of distrust or heart chakra wounding. Um, there could be somebody in this person's life that was like this, that caused this. These two feel very related and it's um, being healed. And fives are saying five is change. So there is a change of this energy um, and five of swords and three of swords create the eight of swords, which is a mental um, is a mental trap that is not really true. It's a mental, it's, a, it's an illusion of a trap. Like you feel like you're stuck because of, you know, certain things and your heart won't open. So there is a heart opening. There is a change of this uncool energy. Um, and then there is going to be a new beginning. So that's pretty interesting how that is coming up. So I'm going to read the new beginning. And they're even saying... She's pregnant, and so the Empress is that creation. So it's like you're creating this new beginning. Something is about to change, which I just said. The five in that five of swords. Something is about to change, good or bad. Something is coming. This card is also reflect an intention that was cast to bring forth something into existence birth of something carrying something something coming to life change in a relationship something coming to light a new feeling that has sparked and stirred feelings so there is a coming through of past betrayal past hurt past pain and heartbreak and separation that is heart chakra healing and a new beginning is coming so pretty cool I'm really feeling a lot of spring. I'm really feeling a lot of like Easter, spring, you know, spring equinox um, energy with this. Holy water, what spiritual growth does this partnership bring you? taken back to these two as well when I just touch on this a minute spirit is also telling me that there's could be energies lingering from past life um it's like like not not having to do a past life regression but there's something being released cast off they're saying um uh, that has been like energetic like, like energetic residue so if you're in a relationship where you know that this doesn't exist like it doesn't exist for you it doesn't exist for the other person um the word the word castle and when i read that it was like sparked something within me and then as i tried to move forward spirit was like go back because this has to do with past life energy um which was my clue with the castle but i didn't quite catch it when i said it um but but the, oh they're saying go back do you get it so go back so go back means that past life there's if something for some this is going to be something in this life you know uh, that you're obviously aware of and for others that this is not obvious and this is not obvious they're saying that it was a residue from past life so you may have been together with this person in the past life and this occurred and you're still carrying this wound um, but it's being cast off, they're saying, and it's being released. Sort of like the Eight of Swords energy is a mental entrapment. It has caused like a imprisonment, uh, a mental imprisonment around the energies, and it's being cast away. So that's, and the new beginning can come in, and this new life can be birthed. Like in this life, 
um, it's like a new energy in this life without this old energy. But until it got cast off, this new beginning can't come in. So I'm going to move forward. So I had to go back and clear that up. H holy water, what spiritual growth. So it is the temperance. Temperance is all about healing. It is all about um, that energy of healing. Temperance. It says, balance is the key. A new stage must now begin. A phase of peacefulness, quietness, balance, and tranquility. The glass has been shattered and darkness was here. Yes, indeed. So, um, again, it's breaking through that darkness, right, that we just were talking about. But do not let these facts get to you. The new light of a nighty, of a nighty sun is caressing my face. That's interesting. A new light of a nighty sun is caressing my face. Come and sit by me. I can help you maintain calm and patience in your life. I can create a place where you can rest and where you can rebuild a strong and clear vision of what you want to achieve. All can be done and it has to be done gently, gracefully, and faithfully. Show your peace of mind. Let the river flow at your feet. Lotus flowers will blossom again. There is nothing to fear, really. Don't push, don't rush, don't fight. Act with per precision, temperance, and calm. Only then will things evolve the way you want them to. So the spiritual growth that it brings is healing. It casts, again, it's a sense of casting off that darkness, breaking through that energy, shattering that dark, you know, it says the glass has been shattered and darkness was here. Um, so it's also bringing in patience. Spiritually, it's growing with patience, balance, bringing in moderation, adapt adaptation, harmony, and inner peace. So a lot of beautiful energies that this partnership is bringing, uh, are a lot of things into balance. But they feel it's rectifying that past life energy. Um, advice from the vampires. Will this love last forever or just some sort of uh, advice? See what they say here. Eight of Swords. It's kind of funny. It was what I was just saying. Um, I'm going to pull another one. but It has to do with this release of... I think because it's related to this, it's saying yes. But I'm, I'm going to pull another one. energy around this eight of swords so i feel it depends on yes yeah, five okay yes five this they're not really seeing this as a they're not showing this to me as a challenge they're telling me the energy's changed this is a change of energy and energetic um there's using the word imprint um around this eight of swords i'm gonna read the eight of swords but it has to do with these two when i counted the five and the three saying they came up with the eight of swords and caused a mental imprisonment uh, which was like a illusion you know because fear is an illusion but you're sensing that uh past life vibration of fear of conflict something something challenging happened and for a lot this is past life related you know this could be with somebody um But I'm not going to get into all that. But anyway, I'm going to read the Eight of Swords. Prisoner of myself. I am a prisoner of my own shame and thoughts. I close my eyes not to sleep, but because I don't want to see the reality I live in, I feel I'm a victim. I've done what I could, but now there is no question, options left. My love letters are written within my blood, but no one will read them. I'm trapped. I can't make any decision. I don't, I won't take action ever again. I'm useless, powerless, but wait. I hear a golden whisper telling me to wake up, telling me that it's not all lost and that I should get my power back, that there is a way out of this bitter solitude. Should I lay here forever or should I trust the whisper? And you will, what will you do? So it's to know that you have to answer the call that is coming. It feels like right there when I said answer the call that is coming to release this five of swords three of swords energy feels like the judgment it feels like a call um 
Archangel Gabriel, kind of like, you know, the judgment card where they're blowing the horn and there's like an awakening. There is some sort of awakening coming up that is going to cast this off, but you must be awoken to and want to release it. So this will last forever. This change of energy will come around this if you wake up to that call. Um, if your partner wakes up to that call is going to depend on that and it's going to depend on that to answer this question of won't last forever so it depends on if they hear it says inner prison needing to see things from a new angle stopping over victimizing oneself but it is the part where it says but wait i hear a golden whisper telling me to wake up telling me that it's not all lost and that i should get my power back that there is a way out of this bitter solitude should i lay here forever or should i trust the whisper and you what will you do so it's like Depending on what you do, what your partner does, do they wake up to the whisper that casts off this past life vibrational energy? For some, this could be something that occurred between you and your partner. If it's somebody you've been with a long time and you've gone through breakups or these kinds of situations that cause separation, it could be casting that off now. But I feel this is all like a lot of past life pull because um, the word castle came up in this one when I read it and that connects me to past life energy. Um, because I, well, I'm not going to get into that, but uh, there is a, a higher calling coming from, you know, spirit to wake up out of that illusional trap from that past life vibrational energy that came in between you. Long way around to explain it. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed this reading. It was pretty cool. Um, remember to have faith, right? Blind faith, which is interesting. She's sleeping. She's not blindfolded, but that blind faith, having that faith. So... Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Angel blessings, oceans of love. I will be back in about three months again to do another one of these. If you want your own, follow the link below. And uh, angel blessings, everyone, oceans of love.